Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of Color Theme Solar System. So if you remember last episode we did the purple system but yeah we are now moving on to doing a new version of the orange system with modded objects as if we look at the original system here it seems to be quite of a mess. A lot of things seem to be breaking and falling apart but yeah, if we get a look at the objects themselves we obviously had some um, red orange stars. But then all of the planets were all pretty basic, honestly. They were all just they were all just random spawn orange gas giants, mainly all of these. Mega Triton, that's from a very, very old video of mine. We got Bespin here. Like they were all they were all just very, very simple. We had to throw a few frozen worlds in here. Don't know what's happened to that Korot 7B. But yeah, mainly it was all just very, very basic stuff. I believe there was a yeah, there were some Venuses here. We had a cold Venus and a Venus. Not really too much going on there. Maybe that Venus is colonized underneath. Let's just get a quick peek. Was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, so we had a colonized Venus, but yeah, and then a ton of Titans by the looks of it. So you can see there's not too much variety in objects here. So yeah, today we're going to make that change and we're going to set off with a whole new system. So let's just go ahead and actually what we could do, actually, we'll keep the same theme for a change, but we'll just get rid of all the planets. So let's just get rid of all those like so. Get rid of HD 100. Uh, go back to that. I hate it when it does that. Come on, come on, there you go. So yeah, we'll keep. I'll keep the two stars because there's nothing wrong with the stars. So we'll just go ahead and remove all of these. Right, okay, I think that is everything now. Okay, so it's just um, Aldebaran and Alpha Centauri left. So we'll go ahead and just expand out to the original system. We'll go ahead and auto orbit so the uh, orbits get reset, and then we'll work our way from there. So um, where's the auto orbit? It's in Sim, isn't it? There we go. So auto. Is it in Sim? No, no, it is, in, it is in tools, I believe. Yeah, auto orbit is in tools for this. Right, so if we click that, it should... Okay, so they sh their orbit should be all good now. All right, so we click play. Right, they are on a nice binary for us. So those asteroids do look a little funny as well. So we'll go ahead and remove those for the time being. All right, so now we uh, begin with this. So let's also check how far away they are. Okay, so they're 349 AU away. So that's plenty of distance to work with between the two stars there. So first of all, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Add a little eccentric stuff, or not eccentric, so we're going to incline them a bit, just to have a little um, difference. Right, there we go, so main start. Right, we'll go ahead and search the colour orange now, and then let's uh, see what we can uh, begin with. So, right, there we go. Let's uh, wait for them. Not too many orange templates, actually. Um, out of all the other colours, orange isn't really, haven't really got many of those. So, they're going to load. Orange gas giant, that's the original orange gas giant. Dark orange, I believe, is a gas giant as well. Yeah, we'll... A lot of them, a lot of the objects that I have at orange aren't actually named orange. It's only the really the templates. We've got we've got plenty of orange objects in here to um, mess around with. So don't actually have an orange version of the gasser object. Surprise! It's probably like the only major color I'm missing. So we won't be having one of them for a change. Right. So there we are. Yeah, but we got um, some pretty interesting objects to use for this orange system. So let's go ahead. What should, what should we start off with? Let's go with. Let's just go with the good old. Um, regular orange um object so oh dark orange that's actually the old that's a random spawn that object there um orange gas that is a cool looking object any more any banded ones i've got which are orange let's have one of them at least no doesn't doesn't seem like i have any of them was 12b on the other hand i would say is orange so we are definitely gonna be including that in here so we're gonna have that very close to the baron here we're going to go ahead and place it there. It is quite a hot planet in reality, I believe. So, yeah, we'll make it pretty hot here. So, here we are. Right, there it is. We'll call, we'll call it down just so we can still see the color features on it. So, we'll give it a bit of albedo just to cool that temperature down. So, let's put it back to zero degrees quickly. Let's put the zero. There we go. Ah, it just resets it anyway. Right, so we'll go ahead and drag it a little further out. We don't want it too close. We'll leave it around at the 500 mark. So there we go. So you can see it is mainly an orange. If you saw the size comparison issue, you would have seen this as well. Really cool the way the clouds rotate on this one. But yeah, there it is there. So I would argue that orange is the primary color on this one. So yeah, I am going to include it in here. So there we go. We'll have that just sitting in here. So let's uh, get it the uh, right way up like so. And there we go. Right. The background I don't need to change either. That's already pretty much perfect the way it is. Right, so now we've got Wasp orbiting out of Baron like that. Looking good. So there we go. It's quite a large object as well. So um, it could be one of the largest objects we actually put in here. So there we go. Now one thing I want to do today as well is I'm actually going to focus a little more on moons. Because usually I am quite scarce with doing moons. I, I don't do them often due to lag reasons. But today let's go ahead and add some moons around some of these. So Wasp itself... 
I'm not going to add moons to this one in particular because I don't think an object really this close to the star would have that many moons. So we're going to go ahead and move straight out to the next one. So that will be the closest dominant object in here. Oh, we do have Proxima B Mark II, actually. That's quite a good orange one. Planet Leo, that's also orange, I believe. Uh, let's see. Any other good choices for band? I wish, I wish we had an orange banded one. That's quite annoying. There is one that looks slightly orange, but I believe this one is more yellow than orange. Yeah, it, it, even though it's red and yellow, which in theory makes orange, I'd still say it's too yellow. So we can't have that, sadly. Let's use the good old orange gas giant. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll, ahead. we'll definitely place that in here at some point. We've got plenty of room to work with. I mean, our Centauri, there is plenty of um, distance there between those. So we'll have the next... We'll have orange gas a lot further out than wasp, wasp is. So this will be our first sort of planet. I guess we can keep wasp really close and have the next sort of planet a lot further out. So here it is here, and it blends the background pretty much perfectly. So there it is there. Give it... Um, how many? We'll give it about 0 0.6 tubes just to work with, so make it quite large. Actually, very large. Look at that. So almost 100,000 in radius there. So there we go. Right, now this one, we can give it some moons. So we only need orange objects. So um, we'll go to the templates here. Right, so the, we've got the half orange, we've got the regular orange, and then we have the cloudy, thick, atmosphered orange. So we'll use a, a no orange first. And actually, we can also use Titan in here. We can definitely bring that back and use it at some point, so we can use that. Right, so we'll put the uh, cloudy no orange over here to begin with. Right, so here we are. So it is um, one of the oldest templates of them all, actually. This is the orange that you can get with um, spawning in random objects. You can get this orange atmosphere without even having to mod the game. Actually, speaking of that, I don't think I have a modded orange atmosphere anywhere. I mean, maybe this one is modded? Yeah, I think, I think this object's orange is modded. I'm not sure. I have no idea. And I don't know where actually where I picked that up from, but yeah, I don't think I actually have a template for a, a regular or a modded orange. I only have the orange that you get in the game. Never really had a desire for any special orange, I guess. But anyways, here it is. So um, we're going to uh, slow down time. We're going to click play, see where the temperature uh, starts off with it. So let's um, have it there. Right, so it's going up pretty hot, so we're going to lower that. So even this far from the star, it's still a lot more powerful than the sun, and it still is quite large from where we are, so it's definitely going to warm these things up. So there we are. Um, let's uh, let's have it quite. Let's have this moon quite hot in temperature. So let's have it. It's our albedo very very low. You can see some clouds should start appearing as it gets hotter. So um, we'll give it a slight increase in atmosphere. So just to, just so the clouds can appear, which you can see there are now clouds. Right. So then I'm also going to give the low elevation a lot more of a darker sort of color to it. There we go. That's looking good. There we go. Actually, I'll make that even darker. Make it almost black in colour, so it's like a volcanic sort of like world here. Very, very um, dark. It's very, very hot. Not really the nicest place to be, so there it is. So that's going to be orbiting the orange gas giant. Then we'll also um, do a second moon orbiting here as well. So, right, which one can I go for this time? Let's see here. Lava God. Now, yeah, actually, I think this will actually be quite good for this. So let's go ahead and place it in. So this is what it looks like. So... I'd, say, I'd argue that that is suitable for an orange system. Even though it's got a bit of yellow and white on it as well, I'd, I'd, I'd be willing to argue that that is suitable for an orange system. I think I think that um, if we just I think I think that uh, would be suitable. So um, it would be suitable for any a red or a yellow as well. But I think we can uh, roll with it as an orange. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we just see um. Let's see. So, is this actually colonized? I don't think it is. So, the clouds should disappear at some point as it warms up. So, we'll have to increase it even more to get it where we want. So, yeah, that, that, I'm not a fan of that surface color. We're going to have to definitely change that to a more red color by the looks of it. Yeah, because even with the, it's because it's tinted, I believe. That's why it's um, a little funny. Right, so then climate. They're going to want to buff this up. So, we're going to go with about 2 ATM on here. As this one will be quite a hot one as well. So, let's uh, see how high we need to put it here. There we go. So, we need those clouds back. But it looks like the if it's slightly cooler in temperature, the clouds appear more orange. So, we need to try and find the perfect balance of where the clouds aren't too white in colour. So, we're going to try and uh, lower them a bit. But not too much. So, you can see as they slowly fade out, they will turn slightly more orange than white. So as you can see, they are looking slightly different right now. And that is definitely a better looking 
than what it originally was. Let's go ahead and place what it originally looked like there. So you can see that one is a whole lot more white in colour. This one's a lot more orange and dimmed down. So that is exactly what we want. So we just need to keep it around that temperature. So hopefully it um, stays the way it is. And then we can just have that orbiting the um, orange gas giant there. So that's actually looking really, really good, actually. So, um, okay, I think that's fine. It doesn't seem to be um, having any problems. So, okay, so we've got two of those there. And I think we can have one more moon in orbit as well um, around this one. So we'll go ahead and use... What should we use? Hmm, let's see. Yeah, it's a real shame with the banded ones. Um, let's see. Orange. I only have a few of those, actually. We could have a gas dwarf. No, that may not be the best option, actually. Hmm. Any more orange I've got further up here? Yeah, it's a real shame we've got the gases as well. Would have hoped to have had one of those. Korot 7B we're definitely using. Yeah, we've got this sort of one to use as well. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, we're definitely using that one as well. Yeah, we have got some interesting objects to show off in here. Hmm. Oh, this one as well. I'm going to place this one around. So I'm going to put this one put it quite further, put much further out. Okay, here it is. So this one is uh, smoking up. Surprise, surprise. So I'm going to put that to zero. Okay. The mass, we'll put it to about one Earth. Okay. Temperature is warming up. So we'll put it to zero degrees. Will it melt? I'm assuming it won't since it's probably a frozen glitch victim. So we'll just go have to do the normal process of add, remove, add, remove. So there it is there. We'll make the um, surface, we'll give it a slight buff in the orange color. There we go. So that's looking better. So more, a bit like a uh, sort of like desert-like object in a way. But it's still got some water on it as we can see. So we just need to get that to... Um, yes, yeah, so if we click play, it didn't freeze. Okay, that is very surprising. Wow. So, um, we don't want it getting too hot. Oh, I spoke too soon as normal. <laughs> oh, dear. That was... It was going so well. And then it freezes on us. What a shame. So, um, yeah, that temperature still seems a little hot for my liking. So, there we go. Some people say that climate mode is the reason why this happens. But this one doesn't even have a climate mode on it. And some people say it's the density. So I, I'm not sure. It is very strange why they do this sometimes i mean i can ch just change a few things around but the frozen glitch is just really really annoying nonetheless but yeah there we go so i'm just gonna go ahead and save the simulation we'll call it orange system remastered there we go right there we are right, so orange system remastered go ahead and reopen the sim and hopefully it will um yeah hopefully it will fix this stupid uh, glitch so okay click play like so. Okay, so that's hopefully... I think that's done it. Got a bit of a shadow there. Is that the... Uh, no, the gas shot's over there. Why is there a shadow? I think that's because we've got a second star in here. That's that's a glitch that's caused by having two stars in the system, I believe. Which is really, really annoying. But I guess it's just the way it is with sometimes. So, there we go. I guess in this one... Yeah, look, whenever you zoom in close to it, it gets this really annoying shadow. But I'm pretty sure if I deleted Alpha Centauri, for instance... Like that, it gets rid of it. Like that shadow is very annoying. I guess we'll just remove Alpha Centauri for the time being. So they'll all be orbiting um, out of Baron now. Right. Okay, so that's fine. Nothing needs to be changed there. So they're all good. That's at 50 degrees. That's a very, very hot desert there. Lava God's all good. Oh, that looks so good at the temperature it's at 248 degrees. Right, there we are. So now moving further out. Oh, actually, should we move a little closer first, actually? Yeah, I want to I throw something in between Wasp and um, Orange there. So, we are going to use... Oh, I've got some... There's one with a custom... Um, what is this? What is this look like? This version of Two Mass. What's that? That's just a very dark one. Okay, that's not really... We don't really need that one. Um, okay, key right. Okay, we use that one. Okay, here. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay, this one's by Mr. Mistler, as you can see. Okay, so if we cool it down, it this one looks really, really cool. So, put it to zero degrees. Oh, it's a brown dwarf. Okay, we need to uh, remove that mass a bit. There we go. And it got rid of the clouds. That's fine. We'll just re-add them. Right, there we go. Let it cool down. Just put it to zero degrees. Right, there we are. Okay. Come on, cool down for us. Let's see uh, what you're hiding. Because this one is really, really good looking. So, come on. You're going to cool down? There we are. Check this out. Look at the... Uh, clouds on there see right now you may be saying oh it's it's more black in color well what we can do is if we get the temperature exactly right we can have it glowing orange while still retaining the cloud features and the way the bands look so as you see we can heat it up some orange bands start to appear so if we just uh buff um the temperature up more by lowering the albedo hopefully we can warm it up 
So uh, there we are. Bit more. Okay, we'll have to really. Uh, I think we we'll have to drag it a little closer to the star as well. So uh, give it a slight uh, buff there. Right there we go. Is that gonna warm up? Still a little closer then. Don't wanna make it too close to two mass. Or wasp, sorry. Um, so there we are. Still, still not um, warm enough, eh? Come on, should warm up a little more than that. Albedo is all the way down. So if we warm it up, it just cools down. Seriously, we're actually have to make it even closer. Okay. So there we are. Surely you're not any closer than that. It should be able to. Is it gonna warm up? Oh, we need some uh, more glowing clouds to appear, please. I don't want to make it into a brown dwarf. Okay, 500 degrees. That's getting uh, very close. That's inside its orbit almost. We can't really have that. That's, that, is a, that is a little too close for my liking, which is annoying. See, you can see it is slightly turning more orange. Actually, no, what we can do is we can put that around the second start at some point once we add that in. So there we go. So we'll just leave that like that for now. But yeah, let's um, go further down. I want to go to the core, the, the core Ot 7Bs. We've got three different versions of it. So we're going to use the uh, this version first. We'll have that closer than um, Orange Gas Giant is. So here it is. Okay, so as you can see, it's very, very reflective. But it's orange. Oh, that looks so cool. So we've got this one. That's actually the older version of Korot 7B because I do actually have a newer version now which we will use as well. So there it is. So just let that sit there. That's not really, uh, we don't really need to do too much to that. I guess we can lower the albedo a bit. Does this have an atmosphere? Yeah, the atmosphere completely ruins it. So we have to scrap that. We'll just lower the albedo a bit. Keep it in the 100 degree area. So there we go. So it's nothing compared to the real version of it. But then we also have the the, the second generation Korot 7B here. So we'll go ahead and place that further out than orange gases. Pull it there. So this one should have some clouds on it. So I don't know what's up with it right now. It seems a little uh, weird. Okay, we need to... Has it got water on it? We need to... Okay, so you just need to add the water at this distance. So, yeah, check that out. This is a two-layered cloud object, I believe. So if you remove the clouds, for instance, you can see there's yellow clouds on the top of it, but underneath there is a layer of like orange-colored clouds. But two sets of clouds, which is pretty cool. So what does it look like underneath? Is it is it just water? It's just all just water now. Okay, so let's uh, get some land on there. And this can be like a colonized world. Very dark in color, as we can see. Try and get the uh, water to the correct level. As adding water has always been a problem. I, I, they need to get rid of this. These options are annoying. We need option menus like uh, that. We I want this sort of menu for the um, water because it's really annoying adding this. Okay, there we go. All right, I'll leave it like that. So it's, it's got one like big island of land there. Can we change the color? Yes, we can. Okay. So orange. There we go. All right. So orange surface there. What about a green mid elevation? What would that look like? Oh, that's hideous. No, no, no. Definitely not. Darker green maybe. Yeah, that could work actually. So it's got like orange sand with like very dark sort of green trees. I think that's quite a cool uh, mix. So it's a bit of a... Got some colonization on it there. Um, I want to go up here. Uh, no, open that. There we go. Okay, that's, that's looking good. So I like that green. I think it looks good. And then we'll have a like white area for mountains. So there we are. But then also, if you add the atmosphere, you won't really see much of that anyway. But yeah, there you go. So there is still um, Hatable land underneath there as well. You can see it just barely. But that is now behind that sort of like orange colored atmosphere, which is looking really cool. Okay, so we can just let that sit there. All right, there we go. We can also, it's already inclined a bit, so we'll just go ahead and leave it there. It's already, uh, temperature's at 50 degrees. We can increase the albedo a bit, just to cool it down to more Earth-like temperatures, so about 15 degrees. So try and keep it around the 15 area, so that'd be very similar to Earth. Right, cool, so that is, um, all good. So I've just got a nice, uh, nice load of planets now, so, um, there we go. Right, looking good. So, um, where are we going to head next? There's, there was one I wanted to do, Where where's it gone? It was... I've done the Korot 7Bs. We still need to throw a Titan in here at some point, since that is orange. Let's see here. Kepler 7S, no. Where was it? Oh, we do have an orange banded object. Okay. So we'll put that a little further out than orange gas. So, I'd argue, yeah, that's orange, yeah. We can use that. It's got, obviously, some white bits on it as well, but orange is still the more supreme colour in that, I'd say. Oh, yeah, we can use that. Cool looking uh, banded gas giant there. All right, cool. That's fine. So we should have some moons around that as well. But yeah, there it is. So that's further out than orange gas. Right, now moving on to Bespin, which is actually a gas giant with city lights on it. It's actually from um, Star Wars Empire. Um, or Empire Strikes Back, sorry. So um, 
yeah, we're gonna go ahead and place this in as well. So this is the um, this is Cloud City. This is where Cloud City is. So it's uh, here. Yeah. So it's a gas giant, but it has um, cities in the high atmosphere. So here it is. It also has city lights on it as well, which is actually really awesome. So there we go there. So bed spin. So 8 degrees. That is cooling down. But luckily, we won't really have to worry about any frozen glitches on this guy. So um, temperature. Albedo will just cool down a bit. Is that going to warm up for us? It'll actually be a little too far out. Give the atmosphere a buff as well, because that. 1 ATM should be enough to uh, get it warmed up. And it looks like it has got a frozen glitch on it, which is very annoying. So you can see the clouds have disappeared. And that's not exactly what we want. So there it is there. It does actually still look cool the way it is, honestly. And we, we could leave it like that, actually. It doesn't really... The clouds don't really bother me too much. I mean, on this one, this one doesn't really... The clouds make it look more rocky than gas giants. We'll just leave, we'll just leave it in its pure gas giant look here. I think that looks all right. That's fine. I'm not going to bother with that. Keep trying to save it and reopen it, especially since I can't see how much water is on it. So yeah, we'll just leave it like that. That's fine. So there is Bespin. So we'll have that as the last sort of planet in around this star. But then we'll go ahead and re-add Alpha Centauri B. So we'll go ahead and uh, grab one right here. And we'll have it in, yeah, in orbit. We'll just have it all the way up here. There we go. So we've re-added um, re the binary orbit. So we'll go ahead and um, go around this star now. So, um, right. Let's um, put it around here. This is the, obviously the smallest star. So we won't have as much stuff around this one. But yeah, we definitely want to go ahead straight up and grab Mr. Mr. Dot's one. We're going to put it quite close to the star as well. Dangerously close here. So then we just need to get it to cool down. We need to half that as well to get rid of that. Um, there we go. Re-add the gas like so. Right. Now we just need to get it cool down to the temperature that we want. So um, here we go. So hopefully that will cool down for us. At 500 degrees should be enough. Around it, 500, 600 is where we want it. So let's just let it cool down. So we just have to give it um, some time. Still want to mess anything up. Come on, cool down. You should, you should be cooling down. You're only at 600. That 600 is enough. So it's very, very close to the star, as we can see there. Come on, any second. It's, it's, it's getting cooler. You can see it's turning more orange. Come on, a bit, a bit quicker, please. Okay, there we go. So we can see the bands are starting to appear now, the actual color of it. Okay, so if I um, keep it around that, I want it to look something like this. So you can still see like the bands on it, but I, I want it to be warmed up still. So we're going to increase albedo, warm it up. Okay, or cool it down, sorry. So this looks good. 570 degrees around that sort of area. 600 that's looking good the way it is so it's glowing hot i think it's um temperature is changing just by how its orbit works but yeah that is looking pretty fine i have to say the orange on it looking very very good there i'm gonna decrease that a bit more i want to keep it around let's try and keep it above 650 at all times into the high 600s now a bit more needs a bit more than that 700 surely 700 is enough yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think we need it. I'd say that's mainly orange. If you look at it, you'd mainly see orange there. So there we go. Right, okay. So we'll leave that there. So that is looking good. Right, now we'll have a massive gap like we did with the other star. So we're going to go ahead and hop out to... Um, let's use this other object as well. The, this uh, orange one, which I've caught my eye as well. So this is, I believe this is one of your guys' objects here. But this one is still uh, mainly orange, as we can see. It's got slightly some other colors on it as well. So we'll go ahead and uh, give it a little rotate round. But you can see orange. There is some orange in there. That's fine. Obviously got a bit of red as well, but there we are. That's fine. So we'll have that just chilling out here as well. Right, now I want to go to my actual templates. So if I just search orange, I want to use the full cloudy version of it. I'm going to have that further out than the gas giant. So we're going to play uh, around here from Alpha Centauri. Use the um, Hatterpool zone as well. So you can see, we're, yeah, that's too far out. So we need to definitely drag that a lot closer. So obviously it's not like the other star. This one is a lot smaller and actually it's dimmer than our sun. So we'll keep it on this pretty exotic orbit, actually. That's fine. Um, then we're going to... Uh, so it takes four years to ground the sun. So 1.09... And that's that's too much. What am I doing? Times two. 1.1 years. I think uh, less than an Earth year would be quite... Would be a good place to start trying to get this right. So around 340 days. Right, there we go. Right, so very, very dark here, as we can see. But that's just the way the atmosphere is on this one. If we take it off, it's completely fine underneath. It's just a cloudy atmosphere um, on it, as we can see. So it's just an orange Venus, basically. So now we just need to uh, warm this guy up. So we'll put it to about 40 ATM there. Really, really warm it up. So we should see some clouds appearing on it now. So where are they? Are there any clouds? Well, maybe we may have put it around the wrong star, actually. 
Because I can't really see too much going on here. It's too dark. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it around the other star then. Yeah, we need we need a lighter orange. I need a lighter orange rocky planet because these ones are still quite dark. We'll use the um, we'll use the no orange then. We'll have a nice colonized object around here. So let's place it in the green. There we go. That's a good place to start. Okay, so that's all fine. All right, cool. So yeah, not definitely not as much stuff orbiting around Alpha Centauri this one. So there we go. There it is. That one's fine. So yeah, I, I need a brighter orange atmosphere template. I, I I do not have one, and I never have. Definitely need to get one of those. Right, orange, we're going to make it a lot brighter, a lot nicer looking orange. There we go. That's, that is too yellow. Need to get that good orange. There we go. That's looking good. There we go. It's just the way the colours blend. It does make it look slightly red as well. Give us some um, polar caps sort of to it. Actually, that looks really cool. So there we go. Too much white in there. Yeah, give it, give, return the orange. There we go. Slightly more orange looking. So that does look too red, even though it's more of a more of a brick. Or it's more of a brick red actually. Um, maybe like there we go. That's more orange. Then we want to obviously add some water to it. Okay, so that's getting cold. So we're gonna go ahead and lower that. Let it warm up a bit. Doesn't need to have too much albedo numbers. Right. So we can go ahead and add some water to it, like so. And it freezes. Lovely. So there we go. Let's just try and get it all the way. We'll try and get the water exactly where we want. Then we'll have to save it and reopen as normal. So let's just keep spam clicking. Not too fast though. So there we go. The orange land actually looks a lot better now. So there we go. Right, cool. That is fine the way it is. Right, so we'll go ahead and save it. And try and reopen it. And hopefully it will be fine. So there we go. Open. And that's the original one. Damn it. So we'll go ahead and uh, get to the um, remastered one again. So there we go. Right. So when we click play, how is it doing? So play, and it seems to be doing all right. Okay, so there is that. Right, so yeah, there we go. So we've got a few objects around Alpha um, there. But yeah, we're going to keep the main stuff around this one. So yeah, we're going to definitely go ahead and grab that orange cloudy one. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we want this one. And yeah, I, I definitely... this The color of the orange gas giant, we need a much lighter version. Because these look almost brown, even though they are actually orange. So yeah, we, we definitely need a, a nice orange uh, I, need, oh, I need a nice orange. So, there we go. So, there it is there. Yeah, it's still very, very dark, isn't it? Yeah. It's because the original, the colours that you get when you spawn in, or when you randomly spawn them, they are they are not, they're, they're quite dark. Like, if you compare the yellow one to, to the modded yellow, the modded yellow is a lot brighter. Same with the red. The red's a lot brighter. The, the random spawn colours are quite dark, and the orange really shows it um, here. That is a lot more dark than I thought it would be. Um, anyways, there we go. There, is there even clouds on here? Yeah, they are. It's just the clouds are just hidden in that thick, very, very thick orange atmosphere there. So we don't need to touch that. That's fine the way it is. That's just a very, very hot Venus then. So there we go. So I can just chill there. All right, so there we go. All right, so there's um, the binary system. That is all fine. Oh, what are they doing there? What's going on here, guys? What, what are you up to? Oh, okay, I get it. So they're just they're just quite wobbly, but they're, they're still um, they're still together. I don't think they'll break away. Maybe uh, Wasp 12B has got some interference going on there, but yeah, this one uh, she's chilling here, looking good. Right, so there we are. Right, we're gonna we'll go ahead and uh, add a few more moons around as well. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So that's got moons. I don't want any moons on the uh, big objects. This one here, we could definitely um, add a moon or so to. So. Um, I'll just use the no orange. We'll just go, we'll just place a couple of those around. So we can put one there. Then we'll also spawn a Titan in. Since Titan is orange, so that's fine. So there we go. Grab one of those. And we'll just pull it further out um, there. So there we go. That one's orbit is changing now. That's quite annoying. Why is it doing that? Maybe we need to put this one. Titan needs to be closer than that moon. So let's try that again. Because usually if you put a moon with a lot of mass closer, it will mess up your other moons. So, okay, that's looking... Yep, that seems to be running. Right, there we go. Why has the orbit for that planet disappeared? Seriously? Is it seriously in the binary with this? How much mass does that gas giant have? 3.4? It should have it. Come on, let's buff that up. One Jupiter. Let's make this speller. There we go. Right, so now that should overpower any other objects causing problems. There we go. So that's orbiting the star again. Looking good. So we've got the Titan orbit and we've got the no orange here. Not really too much customization we need to do to this. We'll make it give it some whiter areas though. Just to make the orange blend a little better. So there we are. Make it more of a 
nicer, lighter orange there. So we'll just leave that there. So that's more of a cold, cold object, I guess. Albedo, we're going to increase very high. So that will cool down. All right, so there are those. Right, cool. So core at 7B. I'm not interested in any moons to you. But orange has already got some. Vespin... It is a gas giant, so we could yeah, we could add the moon or so to it, even though it is a colonized gas giant. Ah, oh, the city lights disappeared. What? Oh well. Maybe if we remove the water. No. Ah, that's a shame. And there we go. It's just that's weird. And it's weird how the clouds have returned as well. Let's go ahead and remove the. Ah, oh, it's really annoying when it does this. Come on. You just need to get the. You have to have a very low amount of water on these since they're pretty much flat. There we go. Still no city lights, so that's a, that's a shame. But the clouds are back, though. I mean, it's all right the way it is. Okay, there we go. I guess we can have a one moon orbit in this one. So, what should we go with? Let's uh, remove that. Any uh, orange objects I could use? No, not I think there. The pumpkin. <laughs> that's orange. Uh, any more? Any Saturns? Almost tempted to like use a Mars, but that doesn't really fit the orange color scheme. Let's see here. Let's use the Massafar. That's see that, that makes sense around this one. <laughs> there we go. Both from Star Wars. So there we go. Right, this one's probably gonna. Um, oh, it's actually even hotter. Okay. No, you're gonna cool down. Okay. Oh, and it's atmosphere. Get the atmosphere back. Let's get the atmosphere back. There we go. Warm up again. That blue atmosphere should disappear. Come on, warm up. 22. No mercy on this. We're warming this all the way up until it goes back to lava. Come on, I want the lava back. 100. Make this thing... Yeah, 666. <laughs> 666. We need even more than that. Increase it more. There we go. 700 degrees. Let's get those uh, that lavery surface back. There we go. Because that's an orbit of Bespin there. There we go. Right, looking good. So maybe there's a tad more. Get into the thousand almost. There we go. Plenty of lava on it now. That is fine. So that's obviously in best bin there. Right, looking good. Right, there we go. Right now we can re-add the asteroids here. So um yeah, we'll go ahead and add the asteroid belts. We just need to see how much further away best bin is. So there we go. Okay, 42 AU. So then we can go and do that. Add the asteroid belt in. So um we'll have them as orange. Here we go. That's there goes that shade of orange. We're not on manual mode. Inner radius will have about 45 AU, and then the outer radius will put all the way to about 70 AU. How about that? So if we add the ring to the star like that, there we go. So we've got a nice um, ring of asteroids now. So there we go. I won't add any to round to Alpha Centauri over here. Not, this one's going to be quite a scarce area. Not too many um, objects around here. In it. So there we go. Right. So there we are. The orange system remastered and still following the original template of the original orange system as well. But as you can see, we have a uh, we have a much more improved version over the original uh, original orange system. So there we are. Right, so let's just get a line up of them all here. So obviously we've got the two original stars. And then we have a much more big variety of orange coloured objects. So yeah, we've got all of these guys. The Rockies just look um, way more better than they um, did before. As we can see here, yeah, this cloudy orange that's so dark i need a new orange um but yeah there we go and then there's titan there that does fit the uh, criteria so right there we go nice um ranking of objects but then obviously if we compare it to the original one again just one more time so we go to the original orange system so wait for that to load go to chart mode on here you can just see that the difference between modded and non-modded is huge i mean we go down here all of these are just hot objects to make them glow orange i mean most of these really basic stuff not really too much going on there some of them are not even colored and you can see the venus is here like yeah not really uh not really too much interesting stuff in here guys so yeah there we go and yeah that will do it for the orange system guys so yeah let me know your thoughts down below on what color i should do next um as well if you want to see more episodes of this as well um yeah just let me know what color you want me to do next and also if you want to see all the previous episodes i've done then make sure to do um go to my channel to the playlists area and just find the colored solar systems playlist as well and also let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video guys and yeah subscribe if you're new on and help us on the journey to 10,000 subscribers as we yeah we are we're about um 25 of the way there now so yeah massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed and continues coming back to the videos it's absolutely amazing i can't thank you enough it is just so cool 
And yeah, really, really appreciate it, guys. And yeah, look how blended those asteroids are. You can barely see them. That's how blended they are with the uh, background there. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.